Hi everyone! Today I'd like to present some of the new ideas for family history activities from Family Search. These ideas are designed to get everyone in all age groups involved in family history in different and exciting ways. One of those ways is pictured here. You can take your children to cemeteries of their ancestors. Normally, the cemeteries you visit won't look like this. This is more of a cultural icon. This picture is from the Hill of Crosses in northern Lithuania. It has over 100,000 of these crosses. Anyone can put a cross there for a loved one who has died. We bought one of the little angel crosses and wrote our deceased daughter's name on it and planted it next to one of these big crosses. It was a pretty cool feeling to be part of this amazing hill, even if we don't normally use crosses in our family. So let's get started. We're heading to FamilySearch.org. You know the drill. Just type in FamilySearch.org in the address bar above or in the URL space below Bach. Either way will get you there. Now, sign into your account. If you don't have an account, feel free to create one. Anyone around the world can have a free account with Family Search. Just remember that you don't have to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to take advantage of their vast genealogical resources. As you can see, I am now signed in. To get to the Family History Activities, simply click on the Family History Activities box or when you're first going through Google or your browser, just type in familysearch.org front, front slash discoveries and that will also get you there. Here's where you land. This page and the next page will show what activities are available at the moment. I suspect that there will be additions from time to time. This is the bottom of the previous slide. They all didn't fit on one slide. So let's take a look at one of these activities. Let's choose Compare a Face. Let's try out Compare a Face. Upload or take a, a new photo of yourself or choose a previous photo. My husband said that I could use his photo. I'm choosing the photo, photo already there. So there he is. Click on View this Comparison or delete this photo and start again. So here's the comparison. The, the one that comes up first is the top percentage through the ancestors that you have pictures. I see some similarities. However, they didn't get his, he didn't get his nose from this guy. He got it from this guy. But this is the guy that started the nose think. Thanks, Great Grandpa Dugan. Let's try another one of these family history activities. How about All About Me? Look at all of the options, and this is for the year 1959, the year I was born. See if these bits of trivia will spark discussion or at least laughter with your teenagers. A first-class postage stamp in 1959 was four cents. Are your teens rolling their eyes yet? After all, snail mail is so 20th century. Here's another tidbit. A gallon of gas was 30 cents a gallon. I still remember when I graduated from high school and it was up to 59.9 and my dad was having a fit about that price. Alaska and Hawaii became the 49th and 50th states in 1959. A couple of trivia questions require someone to give the right answer. This was one of them. I think that knowing who the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints at the time of a parent's birth will give your kids some perspective and insight. David O. McKay was the president of the church when I was born. A movie ticket cost 85 cents. In, 19, in 2019 terms, that's quite a steal. Here's the last question that I will mention. There's many others that you can pick from. It is also another question, one of those questions that will make your family think. Someone has to provide the correct answer. 
Just don't be totally offended when that darling child of yours chooses James Madison as his answer. Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States, was the President of the United States when I was born in 1959. Here are some of the activities listed under the in-home activities. Let's sample the time capsule questions. Would your kids or grandkids, or anyone for that matter, know the answers to these questions? For example, do my kids or grandkids know that I like Jordan almonds? Do they even know what they are? How about my favorite movie? Do they know that I'm a Rocky fan, followed very closely by The Sound of Music? This would be a fun thing to do a few different times during your lifetime. I'm positively sure that age five I wasn't into Rocky, and I didn't have a clue about what a Jordan Almond was. My daughter loves to dance in the car. She's always had rhythm in her blood, and she just can't seem to sit still, especially when a song comes on the radio. Her shoulders just start moving to the beat, and pretty soon she's dancing all over the place. If you like to dance, why don't you arrange a dance party with your kids and grandkids and record it? Think of how fun it will be to see 20 years down the road. And yes, my kids still laugh at 70s music. Think John Travolta, Disco, and the Bee Gees. They said that that was a sad, forgotten decade. Here are lots of ideas for your family, both living and deceased. Photos can always bring families together. At least everyone will talk about how the oldest child has tons of photos, but the last child was lucky to have a couple of photos of themselves without siblings. How about traditions? Are there certain traditions that you celebrate every year? Are there cultural traditions from your background that you celebrate? Is there a specific sport or talent that seems to run in the family? How about writing or recording stories about your traditions? Here is another great example. Who are you as a family? Look at the possible activities. You can think about what strengths you bring to your family. What are you good at? How do you help your family? One that we, one of the possible activities is creating a mission statement or a slogan. We tried this as a family. I wanted a serious statement. You know, something you could put on your wall and be proud and people would look and say, wow, that's insightful or, you know, awe-inspiring. After a couple of years of thinking about it and all of us kind of batting ideas around, it always came back to the same thing. We're Melix, we eat. Not our finest moment, but a true statement that will tell our descendants something about us. You see, my husband comes from a long line of fabulous farm cooks, whereas I come to the marriage with zero family recipes. We have recorded a few serious moments too, so that there will be a little bit of respect for our family somewhere along the way. At least I hope. How about working with your family to fill in the blanks? Trying to find photos and stories, try to find photos and stories for the first four generations of your family tree. This may not be easy if your family has been lifetime members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. However, if you are a convert to the church or just interested in your ancestors, you may have to ask questions and hunt for those first four generations. Do it now for your family and start the tradition. For inspiration and to see how much fun it is to get to know relatives, watch BYU TV's Relativeries, a unique and fun show about family history. For members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the temple is central to our lives. Here are some activities that can help inspire young and old alike to visit the temple and value their ancestors. It's an eternal commitment that we make to our families. Let's help ourselves, children, and grandchildren find value in the temple and in the family. I have just shown a few examples. It is up to us, to all of us, to make sure that no one is forgotten. One last thing that I would like to point out. On the right-hand side of the in-home activities page is a tab labeled Tips for Parents. I love these tips. Let's take a look at them. Seek inspiration. Be real. Stick together. 
keep it short, be spontaneous, and talk together first, then use the technology. As always, please visit our homepage to find out more about our one-on-one -on -one help in library classes and library resources. And then be sure to sus subscribe to our BYU Family History YouTube channel for more short family history videos and in-depth webinars. Thanks for watching and have a great day.